So imagine that you want to select a place where you can build a new factory and you have selected three locations, so one, two, and three. You have three criteria, so cheap labor, level of taxes, and obviously distance from the main market. And you have for each and one of them the score assigned. So for example, location one, when it comes to cheap labor, would get seven points, whereas location two, four points. On the other hand, location two seems to be stronger when it comes to taxes, so taxes get seven points. And then in the case of the location one, taxes just get four points. This would probably mean that the taxes in location one are higher. So in order to judge which one is a better choice, I could simply calculate an average, which we did here in row six using the function average. However, this assumes obviously that each and every criteria has the same importance. It doesn't have to be like that. And if we want to make one criteria more important than others, we use the weighted average. And the weights we've got here starting from row 12. So the cheap labor has weight of 50%. In other words, 50% of the points go to this criteria. Taxes 20 and then distance from main markets 30. So if we want to get fast uh, weighted average, we would use for that the sum product function. Since we've got here the weights expressed as a percentage, we can use it straightforward. So this is what we're going to do now. So we type in sum product. We select scores for the first location. You type in the semicolon and then you select the weights. You close the bracket and then you press enter. We copy the formula for the next locations and as you can see, we've got the weighted averages. So if we looked only at the average score, so without any weights, this would mean that location two and three are equally interesting and location one will be the last one in terms of our small ranking. Now, if we look at the weighted averages, we can see that actually location three is much better. And as a second one, we would have the location one and location two is on the third spot. So this is the way to calculate the weighted average using the sum product if the weights are expressed as a percentage and bear in mind that they have to sum up to one. However, sometimes the weights are not expressed as a percentage, but as a number. Let's have a look how you have to behave if this situation happens to you. So let's go to the sheet waiver option two. And here we've got weights expressed not as a percentage, but as a certain numbers. So for example, the cheap labor has a weight of 50, then taxes have got the weight of 20 and distance has 30. So for that, we can also use the sum product function. And this is what we're going to do. So we type in some product, we select the scores for the first location, which are here. Then we press the semicolon, we select the weights. And if you press enter, you will see that we've got that. So we can do it straightforward in the formula. So let's press F2. And now you press divide and you type in the sum. We have to select the sum of uh, weights, which will be here. You close the bracket and then you press enter. And there you've got exactly the same score as we had in the very first option.